Hey guys and girls, what is up? It is the Remember Man here, and welcome back to the Haunted Mansion. And the reason I say welcome back is because this is a let's play that I never finished in 2013, and I am back to finish it. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, oh yeah. Um, before we start, I want to say I don't think there's really any re like really good quality let's play this this game. This is a, like a not a very uh like common game. It's not very known. Uh, there's one good let's play on YouTube, uh, but anyway, um, so let's, let's get started in this game, I love this game, uh, did a few episodes on my channel, never finished it, so let's go, um, yes, I want to start a game, uh, I'm gonna do normal, uh, I, I do easy, but I'm filming, and I don't wanna look like a loser, so, let's do normal, alright, let's go, welcome to the Haunted Mansion, you guys, we're going back into this game, let's go. Young beggar, more likely by the looks of him. Aye, beggar or not, he ain't in no position to be choosy. Do you think he's ready for something like this? We'll you see how it holds up under fire soon enough, I reckon. Enough already. Let us introduce ourselves. Ah! Aye, that's gonna leave a mark. Hurry now! She will be expecting him. Alright, seems like we got some shit going on. Came to a ghost house. <laughs> I'm actually extremely excited. Oh, sorry, cutscene. <gasps> I hope he's feeling better. Ah, I told you he'd be on his feet again in no time. Come, we have done our part for now. She is on her way. Awakened now from troubled sleep, you find yourself where shadows creep. The mansion hides its history, but solve you will this mystery, and find the truth that's buried deep beneath these halls where spirits weep. Oh, I, child, am Madame Leota, speaker of the spirit world, medium of the mysterious, and seeker of things unseen. <laughs> I know why you're here even better than you do yourself. Assistant caretaker it is, and you are Ezekiel, but you prefer Zeke. <laughs> we couldn't just have the newspaper ad read, Wanted, brave soul to rid haunted mansion of evil spirits now, could we? <laughs> If we had, you wouldn't be here now. And the fate of this house and all who dwell within it would be sealed forever. This house was once home to many friendly ghosts, but a powerful, evil man named Atticus Thorne has taken over the estate, corrupting the memories of many of the ghosts and turning others into evil spirits to serve his will. Our beloved mansion has become a dark and foreboding place, and we are now Thorn's prisoners, locked within it. But our hope lies with you, Zeke. We need your help to defeat this evil and to rescue our ghostly friends. An ancient artifact will aid us in this effort. A sacred lantern known as the Beacon of Souls. It is a source of light and power and can be used uh, okay. to battle any All evil right. forces we encounter. 
Unfortunately, Thorn will also be using his dark magic to try and stop us. He'll be creating magical barriers throughout the mansion and twisting the very rooms themselves until we can turn on the lights and undo his spells. While not all of our foes fear the light, it will weaken the lesser evil spirits and force them into hiding. Once found, these shriveled souls can be chased from their hiding places and drawn into the beacon. Here, the soul's corruption will slowly be reversed, returning them to their good and former selves. As the good power of these souls increases in the beacon, their energy will enable us to break down the magical barriers that Thorn has erected. Then, we may gain access to more areas of the mansion. But there is more I have to tell. <clears throat> the primary source of the beacon's power lies in the six sacred gems that adorn it. They are called soul gems. Now, to keep them out of Thorn's hands, I had my ghostly friends hide five of them somewhere in the mansion. And the beacon still has one soul gem in place. This allows it to function, but very weakly. <laughs> So we must find the other five to restore its power completely. I'm sorry if you find this confusing, Zeke, but I'm afraid we have little time and much to do. I'll ride along in your satchels, so hold it open and I'll just roll- Oh! oh. Wait, wait, oh, uh, you don't need to- Fingerprints! Watch the fingerprints! All right, you guys, shut up. All right, you guys, so without uh, further ado, we were finally playing. Um, so, yeah, story of the game, we're trying to save the mansion from Maddox Thorn. Um, so, she's going to be talking quite a lot in the beginning, I think, I can't remember. Um, but I'm, I'm so excited to pl uh, play this again. Um, definitely going to be a great Let's Play. Uh, so without further ado, let's, let's continue on. Oh, man. Today, shut up. Yes, I know how to play the game. So today is the last day of winter break, sadly. So we're all going back to school. Well, this is when I'm filming it. I'm not going to upload it then. I'm probably going to upload it uh, tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to turn on these lights before these ghosts kill me. Alright. So that, now that the lights are on, we now have to catch 15 spirits to enter the next room. So that's kind of like what the uh, what you have to do after the game. I mean, not after the game. After you finish your room. Um, I'm guessing they added this because, you know... Uh, because uh, they need to make the game longer. Because this game is actually very short um, as it is. I'm having trouble speaking today, and I, don't, I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, I know there's some down here. So this let's play is probably only going to take me a week um, because I'm going to move on to Luigi's Mansion as well. Uh, but I'm going to like, you know finish it this up <laughs> all right okay there we go can't remember super a lot about this game oh my eye all right so the rest of them are upstairs I think I think I'm gonna check so as you know last time I filmed this I did not have a capture card and that's why the quality was bad and that's sort of the reason of why I stopped the Let's Play before. As you guys know in my uh, last video of 2013, talking about that shit and stuff like that. Uh, with, without, um, what the fuck? Okay, uh, so anyway, we're done this room. So that means we can now enter uh, the next room, which is going to be pretty sexy. Which is kind of scary because there is a cutscene now that shows up and it's kind of scary. Here, ready? 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 Oh my god, it's scary. Um, so I'm gonna make this video a little longer than, like, a 10 minute video. I'm probably gonna have this 20 minutes. Uh, I'd make it uh, a lot longer, but I am, uh, it's kinda late, and I need to get to bed because I have school tomorrow. And, yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna just do this now. <laughs> Holy shit. So, you know, a normal uh, Saturday being sucked into paintings. 
normal Saturday. You know. Alright, let's turn on the lights before shit happens. <clears throat> hey, I got it before the ghost even started spawning. Wow. Oh shit, the spider's still gonna come though. Oh, there they are. Alright. So, this has to be probably one of my favorite GameCube games. Definitely up in the top five. Um, I, I grew up this w uh, with this as well as Luigi's Mansion. And, um, as a matter of fact, Luigi's Mansion is actually one of the games that I didn't finish last year. Same as the reason why I didn't have a capture card. So, uh, definitely that's probably... Shut up. Jeez, this woman talks too much. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, right. Um, I'll definitely probably be doing Luigi's Mansion uh, after this one. Because we all know that uh, Luigi's Mansion is an awesome game. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, over here. So, this game is a little scarier than uh, Luigi's Mansion. It's definitely not a horror game, but um, it's creepy. When uh, when I was my age, I was like eight when I first played this, and it, it was pretty creepy. Um, but it's definitely not a horror game, definitely not. But it, it it is teen rated for some odd reason that I don't understand. But am I missing something? Like, <sighs> yeah. So it is teen rated for some reason I don't understand. I mean, there's not any blood or pop-ups or really anything. I mean, there's giant spiders, but it's a giant spider. It's a part of the death certificate. Yay. Oh, jeez, don't fall. Alright, sweet. So, one thing that I really, really, really wish that you could do in this game, and Luigi's Mansion is be able to open these front doors and get your ass outside. Do, do, no, but seriously. Uh, being, going outside would be fun, but whatever, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna save quickly. Sh shut up, I know how to play. Okay, so with Grandfather Clocks, you save the game, and that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm gonna say, uh, gonna have to end the video here. So thanks for watching you guys so much. This has been the first episode of the Haunted Mansion re-let's play. Um, because I never, well not, based, kind of a re-let's play. Um, but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode where we will look for rooms that have 30, which I'm pretty sure it's this room. Yeah, the conservatory. Um, so thanks for watching you guys. This has been the Remember Man. And next time we'll take on the conservatory where we will, um... Head our way, go on our way to try and stop Atticus Thorn. So, thanks for watching, and, um, uh, hello!